This moment reflects a great deal of hard work from our teams, and uh, I want to applaud as well all of my colleagues on the American side for the work that they put into this. And I believe helps us define the very promising work ahead. As both a major non-NATO ally and a major security partner, Bahrain is already one of the United States' longest standing and closest partners in the Middle East. In today's meeting, uh, we'll discuss how to deepen our strategic partnership, including through the framework that brings us here today, the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement. This agreement deepens our cooperation in three very important ways. Now, first, it expands our security and defense collaboration. For more than 25 years, of course, uh, Bahrain has hosted the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet, and we stand shoulder to shoulder in our mission to secure critical shipping lanes that sustain the entire global economy. This agreement will strengthen coordination between our armed forces and the integration of our intelligence capacities, uh, allowing us to even better deter and respond to threats as they arise. Uh, second, it enhances our economic relationship. Uh, since 2006, our free trade agreement has more than tripled trade and investment to about $3 billion a year. Today's agreement builds on this, uh, in part by identifying new investment opportunities for the private sector uh, partners in the United States. And third, uh, at a moment when technology holds so much potential to better our lives, this agreement advances scientific and technical cooperation between our countries, including through increased information sharing and exchanges between our people. And already, uh, we're collaborating in areas like uh, health security and digital technology.